okay, so I read all y'all comments, and a lot of people say what they would or wouldn't do in a situation, and I hear every last one of y'all, and even question myself sometimes, because I feel like the way that I responded is not always, like, the typical person would, like, my, like, reflexes and my responses were, like, way off due to the mental abuse and the physical abuse that I was experiencing in this relationship, and truthfully, I did not know what was happening to me, why I was so sick all the time. I didn't know why mentally I was struggling. I didn't know why I was so nervous all the time, why I was having panic attacks, why I was shaking. Um, you know, my stomach hurting all the time. I didn't know none of these things until I got out of the situation. And it was pointed out to me. And through therapy and being honest, um, I was able to see that narcissistic abuse affects you in more ways than just what they're doing and also like dealing with somebody who has narcissistic rage is a very very dangerous thing and i know people always say people should report it and people should do this and do that call the police but sometimes doing that puts you more in harm's way than not um i know like the first time i tried to do that he took my phone he threw my phone around, was trying to break my phone. And after that, every single time we would get into it, he would literally, that would be the first thing he did was take my phone because he did not want me recording or calling the police. And he even hung up on 911 several times when I tried to attempt to call. So if y'all listen very carefully to this video that I'm about to play, because this is one of those situations where he was literally standing in front of me. He had me pinned in between him in the bed and I was standing right there and he's like don't touch me and I'm like don't touch me like he's pushing up against me wanting me not to move because if I move and I touch him in any way that he's not already touching me or like he feels like I pushed him or whatever he's gonna spaz out on me and he says if you touch me it ain't gonna be good for you and I'm like don't touch me and I'm like, what are you going to do? Hurt me? And he's like, it's not going to be good for you. It's not going to be good for you. Mind you, this whole time, he is he has his body up against me. And then if you listen further, you will hear him say, you can show them a the video, you can show them whatever. They're already tracking because he knows that I have certain evidence. I had in my phone and he deleted, but he knows that I keep backups of things in other places. So he doesn't, at this point, doesn't know what I have. So he was saying, you can show them video, whatever you want to show them, they're already tracking. So he was telling me that his trooper buddies already knew that he had been doing this to me and that they weren't going to come to my rescue. He would always tell me like, they ain't going to listen to you. They're not going to believe you. As long as I know how to articulate anything, I could get out of it. Like these are the things that were in my head. So not only am I scared, I also don't know what is going to happen to me. If anybody will believe me, if I will have any like enough evidence, I don't know. Like at this point, I just don't know. And I also don't know what this person is going to do to me. Like my... These trooper people, I don't think they had no idea. I think it was his little clique that probably was doing the same thing to their spouses because he told me that some of them were, um, or whatever the case may be. So I just wanted to say this to give context to like, you just really don't ever know what you would do in a situation because I do feel like I did what was best, what I thought was best for me in these situations. Um, at that time like now i don't think i made the best decisions but at the time like because of the way my mind was and how scared he had me of telling anybody and what he would do to people and this that and the third like i was legit like being controlled essentially and manipulated and do you think anybody came no with the narcissistic rage you have to be careful because they will put you in a space to where you respond and then they're going to attack you for your response so i'll give you an example he will literally corner me into a wall and say 
and get in my face and say, touch me, touch me. And I'm like, do not touch me. Do not touch me. And he'll keep doing it and keep doing it. Because if I just brush up against him, I try to move and I accidentally hit him. Trying to like move and get from around him so he's not cornering me or anything like that. The moment that any piece of my body touches this man, he's going to beat me up. Like that's all he needs to be able to say I did something to him and to make me believe that it's me.